Hi guys, it's Megan Rose from the Philippines coming to you with another set of tutorial on how to put the features for the Minion Inspired Wallet. Um, you may have made the base part for this project from my last tutorial. So, I'm just going to put that link on the description box for making that and this is the and that is this base part. So, for this project, you're going to need to make that into a yellow color instead of the white so that you can work on this so for this minion wallet we're gonna use some acrylic worsted weight yarn a number four yarn in the colors of light brown white gray and black you will also gonna need some pair of scissors to cut the string a yarn needle to sew in the features and a hook you can use a number four millimeter but since my tension is loose I'm gonna need to use this 2.75 and for this project you have to be able to know the basic stitches of crochet you can also use some scraps for working in this project and as you can see there are two types of hair there's this one and there's this one and I'm gonna show you how to work on that but first we're gonna make the eyes the eyes has four rounds in them including the goggle part and then I'm gonna show you how to work on the strap part so first we're gonna use a black yarn for the middle part of the eyes so we're gonna get our black first and then we're going to start we're gonna start by chaining two so there's one and two and using the first chain we're going to single crochet eight times on that first chain there so there's one two three four five six seven and eight and you can tug on this uh, spangler here so that it will tighten and there won't be a hole on the middle part and after single crocheting uh, eight times we're going to close it by slip stitching on that first single crochet and then we're going to cut the string okay so that is going to be the first round for the eyes so just fasten off okay so now for the second round of the eyes we're going to use a light brown yarn so take your yarn and then we're going to insert our hook to that first single crochet for the first round and I'm just going to insert our yarn just like so. I have a different way of doing it. Just like the starting part. But this is how I make it. So I'm going to show you how to work on it this way. So since your yarn is there, we're going to chain one. And then we're going to single crochet on one space two times. So insert your hook there. Single crochet one. And in the same space, single crochet. So there's going to be two single crochet in that one single crochet on the first part. Okay? For the second one, you're going to put two single crochet. And that's going to be the increase for the second round. And what you need to do is you're just going to put two single crochet in one stitch around for the second round. So that is one and two on the third one and two for the fourth one and two single crochets on the fifth one one and two for the sixth one and two single crochet on the seventh one and two on the last one and then we're just gonna connect it by 
slip stitching on the first single crochet here okay and then after that we're going to cut the string and then fasten up okay so that is gonna be the first the second round for the eyes okay so for the third round of this eye piece we're gonna use a white one next and this third round also has some increase in them and we're gonna use a half double crochet stitch for this third round so insert your hook to that first single crochet from the brown one from the brown part we're gonna insert our string there and then we're gonna chain one and then here we're gonna half double crochet for the first space one half double crochet for the second space, we're going to half double crochet two times just in one space. And we're just going to alternate between one half double crochet and then two half double crochet in one space. So that is one half double crochet first, then two half double crochet on the next one. And we're going to work on that alternate around for the third round. So that is one half double crochet in the first. We have double crochet on the next, another half double crochet on one, two half double crochet on the next one, one half double crochet on the first, two half double crochet on the next one, one half double crochet on the next, two half double crochet on the next one. One half double crochet on the next, two half double crochet on the next one, one half double crochet on the first, and then two half double crochet on the next one. And then we're just going to slip stitch through that first half double crochet there, and then cut our string, and then fasten up. So that is going to be the third round for the eye part. Okay, so for the fourth and last round, we're going to use a gray yarn now. This is going to be the last part for the eyes, which is the goggle part. So insert your hook through the first half double crochet. Insert your gray yarn there. And then chain one. And we're just going to single crochet around for the fourth round without any increase. So after chaining one, single crochet through that first space there. And then uh, just single crochet around for the fourth round. Then after this, you're just gonna need to make another piece just like this one. So that there will be two of them that we are gonna attach later to the base part of the wallet. And then the next thing that I'm gonna show you is how to make the strap part and that is in black yarn so i will show you that next so just continue on single crochet for the fourth round of this high piece up until you reach the other end so since i'm on the end part of it now you can see that there's this hole here so just to make the just to make the piece more circle type we're just gonna single crochet through that space there and then we're gonna slip stitch to that first single crochet and leaving a long end for sewing cut the string and then fasten off and as i said we're just gonna make another one of this so that there were going to be two of them i'm gonna catch up with you after that Okay, now we're ready to make the strap part of the goggles for the minion. So pick up your uh, black yarn and then chain 6. So you can use a slip knot but what I usually do is I wrap around my hook to the yarn. And then chain, chain 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we're gonna double crochet through that uh, fourth 
chain from the right. So, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're gonna have, okay, we're gonna double crochet here. And then, double crochet two more times. One, and two. And then, we're going to turn our work. Chain one. And half double crochet four times. One, two, three. For the fourth half double crochet, insert your stain to this here. And just half double crochet there. And then we're going to leave a long end also for sewing. So cut your string and then fasten up. Okay? So, you're just going to make another one just like this. And then, I'm going to catch up with you after that. Hi okay guys. So, now we're ready to attach the eye and strap part to the base. For the base part of the wallet. So, as you can see, there are two cheeks to this wallet. One has this part. Where there's a line of stitches right there. We're not going to use this part. We're going to use this uh, smooth part here to attach our strap. So, we're going to first attach the strap parts to the wallet. So, and as you can see, there are this, there's this closing here or this opening. So, what we need to do is we get one of the strap first. We're going to hide the, the spangler first. So that it wouldn't be visible when we saw it. When we attach it to the base piece. And then we're going to sew it to the base piece. So we're going to attach it just like this. We're going to line it up so that this here is aligned to the opening. We're just going to start sewing it to the base piece, just like so, very carefully. We're attaching this first because there's going to be an overlap for the eyes. Just sew it around uh, as neatly as, pas as possible. Just going to sew it around to the base piece. And this is also what you need to do to the other strap part. Okay? So it's just like so. And then after this, you can just tie the string inside the strap piece and cut it. And then you're just gonna do this for the other one. First, you're gonna hide the spangler and then you're gonna attach it to the toilet piece so that it is aligned to the opening. And after doing that, I'm gonna catch up with you guys, okay?